Oh! Oh, hey guys. Paul Pernell here from Film in a Year Project. Glad you could make it, especially you. Good to see you again. So this week, we're celebrating 57 pages written in one weekend. That's right. I was in here writing 57 pages, just like that. It was crazy, crazy. I'm so excited. No, really, I'm very excited. Uh, that's half of a movie. I wrote half of a movie in one weekend and I am stoked. So I am halfway to having a completed feature film script under my belt. Bam. And there'll be rewrites and all of that, but I'm so excited to have my first feature film almost completely written. So you may be wondering how you could write 50 pages, 57 pages in one weekend. Well, I'm gonna tell you. So there's a few different tricks, but the first thing is uh, it's called deadlines with accountability. And all that means is that not only do I set deadlines for myself, but when I set deadlines for myself, I make sure other people know about those deadlines. And there's three tips that I'm going to give you to help you create deadlines with accountability. But first, I'm going to tell you about Parkinson's law. What is Parkinson's law? Well, Parkinson's law, Parkinson's law. Uh, Parkinson's law states that work will fill the amount of time given to it. So if you give yourself 10 days to do something, then even if it takes you only two days normally, it will take you 10 days because that's just how it works. But in the inverse of that, if you give yourself only two days, then more than likely you will finish that same thing in two days. For instance, I've been writing on this script four months now, since February, and I've done a ton of work, but I haven't written the actual script until literally last week. You can see up on the board, I have all kinds of stuff written out about it, but it hasn't been until this last week that I've actually put my fingers to the keys and started inputting that data. And I was able to input, like I said, about half of a movie, 57 pages in one weekend. So let's get onto those tips. So tip number one, is create events based on the finish date of your project. So for instance, I created a meetup group, which I hope you all are coming to this Friday to read through the first draft of our script. And that's pretty stinking exciting. So for instance, if you were a painter, then you could have like a launch party of the finishing of your painting and you could have people over for cheese and wine or whatever it is that you do. Or if you're a writer, a book, or a movie, or pretty much any kind of project that you could celebrate with people. Even if it's not something other people could necessarily celebrate, you could just have a party to celebrate the fact that you finished it. Even if it's something boring, people love to celebrate. <laughs> exactly. So tip number two, or dos, or dul, or these ones, is tell 10 people. Tell 10 people that you actually care about what they think, that you're gonna finish your project by X date, you're certainly more likely to work on it than normal. And you're more likely to work on it than check out Facebook, check on Twitter, see what people are tweeting about, and play around and screw out around on Netflix. So go ahead and tell 10 people and see how much more work you get done on those projects you are trying to complete. And tip number triad three is do it. No, that's not really a tip. Tip number three is work without your power cord. So if you have a project that say is gonna take you four or five hours, then your computer battery life is usually about four or five hours. Just take your computer, go to a coffee shop, put in your headphones, work without power, watch that little power gauge going down and you'll find your little fingers typing faster and faster. So that's my tips for the week and I hope you try them and let me know what, what kind of tips you got. So this week on Friday, we're actually doing our first Film in a Year project meetup. We are super excited about this. Not nearly as excited about me getting 57 pages done in a weekend, but pretty excited. And we're happy to have you come. And if you wanna be a part of that, all you have to do is go to our website and fill out a form on the Work With Us page. You'll get exclusive invites to all of our meetups. So we're really excited to have this going on and we hope you can make it. So this week, my plan, and this is pretty ambitious, but not as ambitious as last week, is to finish the first draft by Friday. That's right, 
If you go to the meetup, you are gonna get to see the first draft of the script and we will read through it together. It will be awesome. Um, I'm really excited. The script process has been going really quickly and uh, now that I've, I've actually met another script writer and we're kind of collaborating a little bit, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got and, and is bringing to the table as well. As you can see behind me on this big board, which you've seen a couple times now, that is our beat board and that is every, every single scene that I want to do in the movie so far. Actually, as I've been writing, I've found that I've had to add different scenes um, just to kind of fill things in. But that's pretty much the, the script is right up there and I'm just translating it from everything I've already imagined onto an actual script, more like this. So we're really excited about this week. We definitely hope to meet you guys and hope you can make it. And if you can't make it to this one, remember if you sign up to be a part of the Film in a Year project on the Work With Us page right here, then you can get those exclusive updates and those exclusive invitations. And who doesn't want an exclusive invitation? I do. Please subscribe, follow, share, like, tweet, other things, email, snail mail, text message, you know, pretty much every single way you can communicate, do that. Okay, great. So let's get out there and let's make a movie.